All right, so here are uh, the strums for level three. These are ones adding chink effects or chunk effects, however you want to say that. Um, there are a number of ways to do uh, a chink or a chunk. Some people use all four fingers for a very aggressive sound. I find that to be a little bit cumbersome. And so I just continue to use my first finger just like I do on a regular strum. And so uh, a chink, uh, as I like to call it, you're basically karate chopping your strings a little bit. So you're putting this fleshy part of your palm against the strings. And immediately after that, your finger flicks across the strings. So the strings are completely muted. You're not going to hear any notes. If you hear some notes like that, then your palm hasn't come into contact with the strings fast enough. And so you just want nothing but nothing but a percussive sound. There's a variety of strums that go with this. I'm going to demonstrate them in the order they are on the website. Um, and so once again, we're going to be using the level one chords. Um, C, C7, F, and G7. So here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And there are 11 of those that we just demonstrated. So uh, you want to pick out a few of those and uh, at least three and learn those up, practice them, make sure that they're nice and smooth and steady and ready to go. And that should do you for level three chink effects on our strumming, level three strumming.